Hello everyone, Commander Brave Belly here. Today on the channel, we're eating the 24 hour Russian combat ration, menu number six. Without further ado, let's get the show on the road. All right guys, hope you brought your appetites because you know I did, I'm eating the entire 24 hour MRE. So let's open up and get right into it guys. I'm super hungry, just got home from the gym. Didn't train too hard, just did yoga. Got to get this body, you know, functional. It's not just about lifting heavy. It's about having good posture, feeling healthy, guys. All right, so the unboxing. Check it out. All right. Nice and hefty. These 24-hour combat rations are super heavy. Okay, guys, so we have the silver lining apparently you could fill this with water it's waterproof and then you know if you have to fill it from a puddle or whatever so that's an option guys luckily for me i have clean water all right let's see the contents we have one two packets of drinks it looks like some kind of okay blueberry or blackberry i would say it looks more like blueberry we're gonna mix these real up real good we have two packets of looks like wheat crackers and then we have two packets of white crackers okay so that's the difference guys okay we have a little variety a little this and that that's cool then we have our pates we got little mini baby pates look at these okay I can't read this and I know guys you've been re writing in the comments that there's a translator app that's been out forever and i know about the app i actually have it guys but i like the adventure of unboxing plus there's a lot of guys on youtube that are ready to do mre reviews that have everything laid out beautifully translate everything tell you the contents give it a taste this is different guys if you've been following me you know i'm an eater i'm a foodie okay we're going on an adventure with this so i'm discovering what everything is and I'm eating the entire content, guys. That's what makes my channel different, okay? So that's how I do it. If you guys don't like it, let me know in the comments, you know? I'll definitely change stuff up, you know, for, for my viewers' pleasure, guys. I have a little tablet. I believe this is the disinfectant. So I would throw the water in here, like from a puddle. Or you, Ideally, you want it moving water, like from a stream. You throw the disinfectant in there, guys. So let's just put that off to the side. All right, let's keep going. We have, I believe, more pate. Some of these could be apple sauces, okay? So one, two. And if, if you guys care to, perhaps you could write it down in the comments down below what these cans are, okay? So the first two were these little baby ones. We're gonna open those up real quick, guys. Just hold on. Then we have these two slightly medium-sized. And we have two more guys and this is what I've been hoping that they have in this ration and they did guys this is one of my favorite things this is pure old good old pig fat this is bacon okay this is un I think it's actually already cooked bacon okay but it's still it's soft you know it's sliced so it's like smoked bacon that's what this is and I'm in the mood for this okay so we're gonna do it a little different this time I'm gonna cook everything and I'm actually gonna cook the bacon first. That way I could cook all the rest of the, the main meals with this bacon so it doesn't burn, guys. That's what my subscribers told me in the comments. And so I'm gonna follow that style of cooking. So you learn something new all the time and I appreciate you guys, you know, maintaining that dialogue in the contents. That means a lot to me. We have three healthy packs of sugar. Guys, big old packs of sugar, nice and fat, chunky, white sugar, okay? And I'm surprised, guys. I've had this in my garage for months already. And so we'll see how fresh it tastes, but it smells like there's nothing going wrong with it. It doesn't smell bad, so I'm excited. Okay, we have this, the military camouflage print chocolate, okay? So this comes in almost all these. It does come in all these white star MREs. That, that's what these are referred to amongst the MRE community, the wh Russian white star, okay? And these are actually consumed right now. 
on the front lines, okay? The soldiers are eating this. I've seen it with my own eyes on TV, on YouTube. Okay, we have the gums, okay? This is for the after eating gums. I've had these before. We're gonna eat them again, okay, guys? And then we have the wipes. Okay, we have three different wipes, three different meals, three different wipes, guys. So they got, got our bases covered with the wipes. Then we have some kind of jam here that's probably gonna go with the crackers, guys. I don't know, it's probably like an apple jam. The Russians love eating their apple jams. I feel like every MRE has an apple jam. We'll see if this is an apple jam indeed. Okay, that's the writing. Cyrillic, which I can't read. Okay, then we have the heating tabs. Okay, so we could put the cans on these tabs, but we're gonna do it the way the soldiers are eating it in the trenches. We're actually gonna heat it up over a fire, guys. So, Let's see the mains. Now we have three big old mains, okay? The main dishes. And they're pretty hefty in size. It's like the soft cans, okay? And looks like all of them are closed intact. So that's awesome, guys. This is one of the meals. I can't read that. I'm excited to discover what it is. Guys, we have another drink that I mix, missed. So we have three cold drinks in essence, which I love cold drinks. You're supposed to, I think, heat it up with warm water, which I have. So maybe I'll heat it up at first with warm water and then dilute it with cold. I like cold drinks. You know, Americans love their cold drinks, but you know, this is perhaps this is for like Siberia or somewhere in the mountains where it's cold. So you definitely would like it warm, okay? So this is meal number two, the main meal number two. And this is main meal number three. Okay, so this is a breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but I've what I've realized is the Russians, basically they have dinner, dinner, and dinner. They eat, basically these breakfasts are not like typical breakfasts that you would see in the West, okay? And of course, it's they're in battle, so what difference does it make? I understand they probably didn't even sleep all night, so breakfast is dinner for them sometimes, you know? So they need the calories, they need the fat, okay? They need the high carbs, and so we're gonna, we're gonna see what that's about. Okay, then we have, this looks, I'm not sure what this is. This might be another sugar, but why would it be so different than the rest, guys? I have no clue what this is, guys. I think this is the first time I've seen something like this. All it says, all I could read is 24, and there's phone numbers, okay? And there's a website, masli.ru. So this is maybe like a product that's also uh, for the public guys, what is this? Let me know. I'm gonna open it up and see what it that is then we have Okay, we have this might be coffee. Oh, I know what this is this is probably creamer Okay, this is probably creamer and this is the coffee the little coffee look how baby coffee This is this is just to keep you warm just to pe perk you up a little bit But not too much and not give you anxiety not give you aggression, which is smart That's why these coffees are so smart I hope these are coffees, because then I'll sound weird. Okay, then we have two Ramuk teas in their camouflage print, which I think is so cool when the military food has camouflage print. It gives it character, in my opinion. I think it's cool, okay? And we have the waterproof hardcore matches. These are the best matches I've ever used in my life. We have the pepper. Okay, so, okay, this is the only thing that's messed up. You could tell the pepper's a little moist, but I'm gonna use it anyway for the flavoring. Because a soldier would use it. He wouldn't care if it's a little moist. So we have the pepper, and this looks like the salt to bring that flavor out. So I'm gonna season my food well, guys. Okay. We have a multivitamin tab. Okay, and then we have two more purification tablets for water so three in essence one for every meal guys so this is the purification tablets we'll set that on the side we have three napkins good quality napkins but three is too little okay in my opinion three is too little and they're very small enough to wipe but not enough to really really you know get the job done if you're really greasy and dirty but whatever that's what we have that's what we have to work with we have probably all the you know, calorie content and uh, the details on the ingredients. We have one of these. If you guys care to read it, you could always pause and read it. I don't know why it's not focusing, guys. 
and then we have more info okay so we have a lot of information i don't know who's going to be reading this during the time of battle if they're in a trench they're just going to eat but you know some people might have certain allergies and that's important so we have one knife guys we have one cheap plastic knife it's hollow here and it's not there you know like sticks out here okay and then we have three long spoons okay for reaching in deeper you know or just like maybe not burning yourself but they're long spoons i would expect these to be for like pouches that are deep but okay and that's it guys that's all the content i'm gonna heat everything up so let's get to heating everything up first i have this awesome stove i actually seen soldiers in the trenches using stoves like this not the same exact one but very similar and you know they try to keep it close to home you know by heating it up legit and uh you know making all the food taste as delicious as they can doing it on frying pans guys i have frying pans so all that good stuff so we're about to feast guys so buckle in all right let's get this gas going we got the gas there you go and this one i can't put it out guys i always have to wait till it's done all right let me lower this flame that's a high flame there it goes guys awesome matches my favorite matches so we have a low heat guys let's get rid of that i'm gonna make some room and so we got a frying pan this is a old school united states military frying pan guys check it out it opens up we have a little like plate okay and then here's the pan and so we're gonna open up meal number one guys meal number one let's see what this prize is so let's get to it i hope i don't burn my microphone <laughs> all right opening it up everything looks smells like buckwheat guys this this is most likely buckwheat and meat so i'm gonna put it on the frying pan so i can melt it but first I, oh i just remembered i'm gonna do that bacon so none of this stuff burns okay so guys this is what i've been waiting for i've been actually thinking about this since this morning like i can't wait to eat some of this russian pork and guys look how fatty it is and this is to me this is actually beautiful okay this is good old European smoked bacon. And it smells, it kind of smells like spam, you know, the jelly aspect of it. We're gonna empty everything out on the frying pan. Okay guys, and that way, now I'm gonna use the actual utensils that soldiers have in the trenches. So check this, this is a US military spoon this i think it's old school it's super big i love this i actually use this spoon in my kitchen sometimes it's awesome all right so we're gonna scrape all that fat we're gonna put the whole contents right there we're gonna try to get as much of the fat i'm burning my arm here right now as we speak okay try to get all that and i ah the smell of arm hair okay guys so we're emptying everything okay just clean pork fat all right so let's wait for that sizzle i'm gonna spread it out and then i'm gonna put this on all right let's open the other one so i don't have you guys waiting you hear that snap crackle all right guys this is meal number two. Oh yeah all right guys meal number two it looks like some kind of meatballs guys look at that oh we're getting a Serious sizzle here, guys. Some kind of meatballs. Check that out. Let me spread this around. I don't want to burn nothing. Oh, yeah. My house alarm might go on my uh, fire alarm. That's how smoky this is. I got to break this up really intensely. Okay, so we have a lot of oil now on this frying pan. So this has been a great idea. So now we're going to fry on oil instead of just a 
uh, you know, just a raw metal pan. So this was a great idea. So guys in the comments, thank you so much. That was smart, guys. Look at that. And we have oil dripping in there. I'm going to heat it up a little more even so there's more oil coating this pan. That way when we throw the buckwheat, none of it gets burnt, guys. Smart idea, guys. And see, I wouldn't know that if I didn't interact with you guys. So thank you so much. Oh, wow, this is sizzling intense. I'm getting oil everywhere. Let me move this out of my freaking new t-shirt, guys. Check out my new Smith & Wesson. All right, we're gonna throw this buckwheat in there. Oh yeah, look at that. All empty, the buckwheat and, and meat. Guys, this smells phenomenal. Ah, I love it. I'm already excited, salivating. It's not even warm yet. All right, let's see how this is gonna go. Ooh, I hope you guys are hungry. Guys, so we have the meatballs here. Okay, and don't you worry, I have a second frying pan. And then may, uh, main meal number three. What's behind door number three? Oh, so this is sealed good, guys. This is serious seal. Look at that. Ooh, and this looks like a goulash. Like it has beans, it has carrots, and it has meat. Okay. Mmm. So it's like a mix of everything. Check that out, guys. That looks great. Let me stir this bad boy up. Oh, I know what I did wrong. I should have just used half that pork so I could use the other half with the other products. So there, there I go, messing things up. But you know what? Nothing's perfect, guys. The show must go on. And now this, is, this buckwheat is looking absolutely great. Make sure all of it's nicely broken up fine instead of being lumpy. Mmm. Guys, check that out. I'm gonna heat it up a little more. Wow. Now that buckwheat is so flavorful. It doesn't need any salt at all. Guys, I have a second frying pan. So, this is like a generic one from like a camping place. So it has, boom, this. And it has a little, look at that, a little cute pot. So we could hook, heat both of these up. All right, and that's what we're gonna do. So in this one, we'll put the goulash, all right? If that's what it is, like a beef stew. And it looks like, yeah, we have carrots, we have little baby potatoes cut up in here, and we have beef, okay? We have beef. It smells like a canned food, it doesn't smell like amazingly good because it's, you know, from a can, has that canned kind of smell, but it looks good, guys. Ooh, let me stir this a little more. Guys, check that out. This is almost done, guys. Almost done. I can't wait to eat this with the crackers. Wow. I gotta get another stove so I can do two at once. Mmm. All right, so we have this in here. And you know what? We'll put the meatballs on the pot, guys. How perfect is that? Let's go. These are the meatballs. They're going on, ooh, they're going on the pot. Getting a little sloppy. All right, all the contents, the little, little fat on the sides too. Okay, there's, some, there's definitely some fat in there. So this is gonna be rich in flavor. Mmm. Has like a tomatoey base to it. Very good. All right, guys, I think that's enough of this. Okay, and we're gonna heat, start heating up the next one. I'm gonna put it all on a plate, nice and pretty. And I've seen the soldiers with plates too, because a lot of times they'll split this. They'll, they could have a little feast over there in the trenches. Why not? Me and my comrades definitely would. Me and my fellow soldiers, 
we definitely would be splitting this if, if we had a lot, a lot of food with us. It's good for camaraderie. Ooh. Let me set that off to the side. <coughs> Clean up, clean up just a little, guys. <clears throat> Check that out. Let me, don't want anything burning here, guys. And it doesn't look like anything's burning at all because of the, all the sauce in this one. This one has a lot of sauce, okay? So I'm gonna try to plate this up together. That way I have both on one plate, guys. Look how pretty this looks. Let's try some of this right now, guys. I can't wait, that's how good it is. I wonder if the camera's picking up all the steam out of it. And we got this big old big man spoon. Check that out. First spoonful going in buckwheat and that beautiful pork. Mmm, oh my goodness. Guys, and we have some of that crunch from like the sides that are burnt, guys. Look at how beautiful this bite. And this, guys, this tastes as good as it looks. Honest to God, this tastes so rich and decadent and like, mmm. It actually has textures to it, you know, because it has some crunch, okay? Just a little more, guys, and this is almost done. I don't want to burn nothing, like I said. Oh, look how good it's looking. Nah. Mm. Let me make some of these drinks, okay? So, as far as the drinks are concerned, I have a little bit of hot water. So I'll pour some hot water first, just for it to mix well. Then I'm gonna try this pomegranate one. I think that's pomegranate. Guys, let me know in the comments down below which flavor this is. And I know these have a lot of sugar, guys. But I'm thirsty. So this is how it looks. See, you could see the red coloring and a lot of sugar. All right. Oh, that's why we have the long spoon. Makes sense, guys. Good for mixing. So let me make sure a lot of that sugar melts away, you know, or dissolves, if you will. Okay, let that dissolve. Let me stir this up. And guys, this is all that we're gonna do. This is ready, this is hot, and I'm gonna put it on the side. So we have, we have it both on one plate, guys. Why not? Why the? Wow, and this one smells totally different. This, this one smells more like, it has better seasoning, guys. This has more seasoning. Mmm, it's richer and deeper. Like it almost it has like, maybe even some cabbage in there or something, but it's just more flavorful, guys. And we're gonna do it in this pot. I've never used this pot yet. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, this is a small pot, so I have to watch out. Now, I should have brought my gloves. I've seen soldiers, when they're heating stuff up, sometimes they're, they wear their issued gloves. Okay, guys, so while that the meatballs are heating up, we're gonna try some of this little goulash now. Guys, check this goulash out. Ooh, I'm excited for it, as you can tell. Let me take a little more. Guys, first bite going in. Look at that. Mmm. <laughs> it's so different, okay? It has a lot of textures. You could taste the beans. First, you taste the beans. But what I like about these beans, they're different from the way uh, Mexicans make it. The Mexicans, they boil their beans that they're very mushy. These have, these are like al dente beans. Like you could actually chew on them. Mmm, guys, you hear that, that boiling? Okay, that's like the tomato. I'm gonna cover this up so actually they get cooked more through and through, so I'm glad I got this little pot. I'm gonna lower this heat just a little bit. Oh, 
Yeah, it's still lit. It looks lit. I see a blue flame, so. Oh yeah, it's lit. It's just way lower. I don't want to burn nothing. Guys, we're gonna start eating this with crackers. Let me mix that a little more. And now the cold water, guys. Like I said, I'm an American. I love my drinks cold. A lot of Europeans, they drink their beverages warm. They're scared they're gonna get a sore throat. That's because you guys don't drink cold beverages, so you will get a sore throat, me no. Okay, so now first let's eat it with these. I believe these are the white crackers. First let's try it with the white cracker. Okay, white cracker. Guys, you know what this is missing? As an American, we eat a lot of hot sauce because we're inspired by, by a lot of Latin American countries. So hot sauce is very common in America. This would go good with hot sauce, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Let's taste this. This almost tastes like tea. It's like that syrupy European juice that they use that they flavor like tea. They even put it in beer sometimes. Let me know in the comments down below if in Russia, they put that syrup inside of beer like that um, blackberry Quran like syrup, because they do that in some European countries for beers. But that's what this tastes like, but it's very light. It's not so sweet. So I think they expect you to put these sugars in the tea and the coffee though, so we're not gonna put it in the drink. But these drinks are very light, which is good. It's good because it's not like I'm drinking pure sugar. The American drinks are very sweet. Okay guys, so these meatballs are looking great. I don't know how I'm gonna take this off without burning myself, so that's gonna be very interesting. All right, so let me have, now we're gonna have some of this together. All right, we're gonna mix, we're gonna mix a little bit of the, the pork fat, Okay, with the beans, with the carrots, with the potatoes, with the buckwheat. Oh yeah, this has to be eaten together, guys. I prefer this together, it's more deep. Okay, the buckwheat gives it like this hearty taste. Okay, and the beans and the carrots with the sauce, they give it more like this flavorful kind of like mushier texture and the buckwheat is a little grittier to bite on so it's all this complex mm, deliciousness delicious let's see if this oh ooh, that's hot i really burned myself so i know what i'll do i will use some utensils maybe maybe this will work Oh yeah, it doesn't matter, I'm already burnt, so. Oh guys, check this out. All right, so I'm gonna get this out of here. We're done cooking. I'm not heating up the pâtés, guys. I'm gonna eat the pâtés like, a, like how I know to eat them, okay? Boom. Guys, check this out, this is the meatballs. Yeah, that's my little burn, little boo-boo. I'll be okay. <laughs> Guys, check that out. Boom, that's the meatballs. And they're steaming. Ooh, I can't wait to try these. I'm gonna put these on the plate, why not? Let's plate these bad boys up and now you can see how hot they are. So in essence, this is breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but realistically, this is just one beautiful dinner, in my opinion. I think they, you know, they have to call it that because it's three, but this is just a beautiful dinner, that's all this is. Oh, I know another thing I'll do. Hopefully this works. It's gonna make me messy though, but I'm gonna use this to pick this up. Oh yeah, and get that sauce in there. Ooh, look at that sauce, guys. All right, we gotta make do what, what we have, you know, the show must go on. Mmm, all right. Let's see this one little baby napkin. Ooh, 
Guys, and I'm about to try the other juice. Now I gotta say, this tastes like absolutely nothing like in particular. It just tastes like a sweet fruit, but what fruit? Nobody knows, I don't. A very European tasting, not strong in flavor. Just washes the food down. All right, guys, take a look at this beautiful plate. Now this is just a beautiful dinner. So when they say breakfast, lunch, and dinner, <sighs> that's not really true. Okay, we're gonna first we're gonna just do it like a whole mix. I already have the spoonful with everything, guys. This is not the meatball, but it's the meatball sauce. Mmm. Oh yeah. The meatball sauce, it's not very strong with tomato. Okay, so it's not like Italian meatballs at all, no. It's like a very European style sauce. It's not strong with tomato. Just a hint. It's just very, very, very good. It's hard to explain. Has you know, it's enough salt. You don't need salt on any of this stuff. It's just perfect flavor. Very European tasting, okay? This is the meatball, guys. Now, I wonder if this is pork or beef. Guys, let me know in the comments down below. I know I probably won't be able to tell. They're just so soft and very tender. Meatball, you don't need teeth for them. They're delicious, very, very soft. Not dense, but airy and light. Mmm, absolutely delicious. Yeah, let me cut these up and eat it all together like this. Now, I gotta say, guys, I know you could tell just, just from watching me that I'm definitely enjoying this. This is absolutely delicious. Now, I guess that's what, like, I'm trying to set my channel apart from all the other food channels and the other MRE channels is I actually want to eat the food, not just taste it, okay? Because this is food that I actually love. I love MRE. Mm. It's like, just tastes hearty, okay? I don't know why. Also, this is not typical American food. So well, you can't just go to a restaurant by your house and find this easily. You'd have to go to like an Eastern European restaurant. And where I live, there aren't many. And also like my grandparents, they passed away. Okay. So they don't cook for me. And my parents, they live in another state. So this is me experiencing Eastern European foods. Oh, and I know it's Russian guys, but even to my Russians, I do have a thing to say guys, even though you guys want to distinct yourself and you know, be proud that you're Russian, of course, if I was where whatever nationality I, I am, I would be proud of it, you know, so it doesn't matter. But what I'm trying to get at is your food is very similar to many Eastern European countries. So even though you might not, you know, get along with people from other countries in Eastern Europe, you guys are very similar in foods, at least that. And they're delicious food. I love it. Okay. So now I'm gonna have it with some of this wheat cracker and then we're gonna move on to the pâtés, guys. So I'm gonna make myself more of this drink. This tastes almost like Gatorade. That's how light it is. Basically it tastes like Gatorade. Okay. The wheat cracker with a little bit of everything. Mm. Now, I'll be honest with you, on the cracker, it's not any better. The cracker almost gets in the way. This food tastes best eaten just like this, okay? Mm, and there you go, guys. Three main dishes, um, three main dishes down the hatch. So I'm gonna make some room. Okay, this is cooled off so I can touch it. I'm gonna make some room for another plate. We're gonna have all the pâtés. We're gonna try out all these cans. 
All right, had some fat on that, guys. All right, this one, this one is the apple. I don't like the apple, but I will eat it, all right? We're gonna try this one. This one, if I'm gonna guess, this is the cheese. That's what this looks like. The generic cheese. And this cheese over here, if this is nothing to brag about. This is the most basic industrial cheese that comes out of a machine, okay? And I can't seem to open it. Uh, so I'm gonna use my badass knife. Check this out, guys. This is a military knife here for the American military. Okay, made in Portland, Oregon. Okay, made in the USA with a little stabber. Guys, I've been trying to get a Russian bayonet, but it's hard to find online. If anybody has any bayonets from Russia they wanna sell me, get in contact with me. I would love to buy it and use it when I eat more Russian MREs, guys, because I have more coming. Although I'll be honest with you, it's hard to get the Russian MREs now here in America because customs, you know, when it comes in through customs and Department of Homeland Security and Department of Agriculture, now because of the war and all this political stuff, they look at everything. They x-ray every box that comes in from, from Belarus, from Russia, you know, from all those countries that are, you know, Russia's allies, they check everything now. And so they take, they open the boxes and they take out the main dishes. I have three boxes of the main dishes that I haven't, you know, reviewed yet that I've been opened at customs and they stole my product. So it's unfortunately, it's unfortunate. It's going to be hard to review a lot of these Russian ones. But yeah, this is the cheese. I've tried it before. Sm barely smells like anything. Uh, so it's, you know, not impressive. This is like cheap, cheap cheese. This is good with the pâtés though. It helps more depth for flavor. Yeah, nothing special. It does have like a, a good cheese uh, aftertaste more so because the smell is almost nothing. So you're not like smelling it when you're eating it. And smell is big part of eating. So the smell doesn't help, but the aftertaste is pretty good. Okay, guys, we have the famous Russian caviar, I think they call this. Or no, I'm sorry, it's not Russian caviar. It's vegetable caviar, they call this. This is actually better, because they have a minced one that's like almost entirely a liquid, and this one is a little chunkier. I remember I had this before, and I actually like this one. It's It has more depth, see the vegetables are actually bigger and it's oily okay so it has more flavor this one i like okay this one's pretty good for a vegetable and this is good in digestion this it looks like it has carrots celery just stuff like that you know and it's oily it, it probably has eggplant this is probably so good for digestion mm. You see that? Mm, take a good poop after eating this. And it's important, guys. I know it's kind of weird that I talk about it while I'm eating, but it's it's a re reality of eating, you know, and it, having a good experience, especially if you're a soldier in the trench. You want everything to be working properly. You want to feel light and good, okay? Guys, we're going to mix the next drink, which is this blueberry one. And pour some of this hot water in first so it melts, you know, so all that sugar dissolves. Okay, this is like the, or the blackberry. I don't know if this is blueberry or blackberry. And this one, I'm going to put a little bit less water to see if there's more, if the flavor is richer. Obviously, in theory, it should be. Okay, the color is a little darker. And we got the long spoon, so now I know why the spoon is so long. It's great for this. Smart. And then we're gonna open these little pâtés now, guys. Let that dissolve more. And so, yeah, let's do this pâté over here. Oh yeah. 
And this pate has a lot of fat in it. Okay, I'm gonna eat it with the fork first. Does not smell like spam. Smells like just ham. I got some on my nose that was smooth. Yeah, this literally tastes like ham. And it's very salty ham, okay, and it's fat. So this will be good with the cheese cracker, guys. Okay, so first we're gonna put it on one of these. So let's put this ham with the fat and then some of this beautiful cheese. It's not that beautiful, but hey, if we were a soldier in a trench, it would be beautiful, guys. So look at that little combination we got. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's good. See, now the ham and cheese go together perfectly. Mmm. See, that's a good combination. Now the cheese makes sense, okay? It really does. And so this is a perfect size of cheese for both of these little pâtés because just perfect size, all right? So boom, look, this is the entire whole thing. We're gonna put it on one cracker and we're gonna have it with the cheese with the ham, guys. We have a little residue with the, look at that, just to be funky, just to be different, all right? Look at that little, little hors d'oeuvre. Mm. Now, if I'm gonna be honest, that little vegetable on top didn't help at all. I wouldn't do that again. It just tastes so different. The vegetable is rich in flavor. It tastes like something that needs to be eaten alongside of what I just had earlier, the main meals. Okay, this one definitely tastes richer in flavor, probably maybe because I used a little less water, but look at the difference in color. One looks slightly darker and just tastes richer, but at the same time, it's very similar in flavor. It's like the same thing. The only difference is the dark, you know, the color. It tastes like that that's fruity syrup that you use to add to either tea or drinks or water or whatever. That's all it tastes like. It's very light. It's not sweet at all. Even though there's a lot of sugar in there, it's not like filled. Okay. What else do we have here, guys? All right. Let's see what's this. This is, look, look at all the sauce I got on it. Oh, yeah. Guys, this is probably the apple jelly okay like fortified rich oh yeah this is this is jam guys this is apple jam because we have a uh apple sauce and apple jam i have the sauce next but guys check this jam out and i just remember this jam it's super rich it's like honey this is a beautiful jam mm. wow this this is such a nice touch for a dessert, guys. You know what? I'll be honest. I like this jam with the cracker <clears throat> as a dessert way more than these little chocolates. I'm not impressed with the chocolates. Of course, I'm going to open it again just to double check. But this tastes so rich. This tastes like applesauce and honey mixed together. Okay, very sweet. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Now I'm going to try something weird. But I'm going to have some of this cheese with the jam. I'm going to see what that tastes like. Remember, if you're eating this every day, you might try weird stuff like that. You never know. I know I would. 
If I had to eat this every single day, you know I'm gonna try this. So let's give this a try. We have the cheese and the jam. Hey, you never know. Check that out. Guys, that's actually good. I promise you it's good. You know why? Because the cheese is so light on flavor. It doesn't clash with the jam. So it just gives it more creaminess, okay? It almost reminds me of like brie cheese, okay? Like a higher end cheese. Wow, that's actually good, guys. If you're a soldier and you watch this, and you haven't done this, I recommend you give it a try, whoever you are, you know, why not? If you are a soldier, whoever you are as well, I wish you return home to your family safely, whoever you are, just so you know, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, okay? Because fuck politics, okay? Anyway, guys, look at this. Check that out. Mmm. Wow, I promise you, if you eat that, if you're not impressed, you won't be disappointed at all. So I suggest you give that a try. Mm, absolutely delicious. So I ate, a, ate all the cheese, so now I can't have it with whatever this is, guys. But maybe this is just a liver pate. Usually I don't eat my liver pates with cheese. I just eat it with a tomato. But obviously there is no tomato, sir. Yup, this looks like a liver pate. And it smells like a pate, pate, it has that liver smell that I love, guys. I'm not scared of this. There's a lot of people that are from the West that aren't used to eating this. Okay, so this liver pate is different than the Belarus one or the Hungarian one. This one is like dense, okay? This one is like, harder and denser and drier. It's good, but it's not the best pate that I have. I think it was the Hungarian pate that I had that was soft and airy and fluffy and light. This one is like dark and heavy, okay? Guys, check it out on the wheat cracker. And it tastes like liver, guys, very intense. Mm. Let's see what this is. It's probably the apple juice. Applesauce. I always like mix my words. Oh yeah, it's applesauce. It's all over the place. Guys, check this out. It's just pure apple. It's almost like apple juice. It's literally what it tastes like. Now I wonder if this tastes anything like the cheat, if I have it with the liver. Let me finish the rest of this because this is absolutely Delicious, and I heard this is fortified with like, s tell me if this is true, but somebody told me that this is made with like, you know, um, scientifically like modified apples that have, you know, been grown with a higher intensity of vitamin C content, you know, to prevent things like scurvy or other diseases that you could get, you know, while living in a trench. Guys, I'm gonna have some of this liver pate now because we know it's dense and we know it's a little bit dry and very rich in flavor. I wonder if we have it with some of this sauce, you know, will it cut it down? Will it make it more different? Will it go together, guys? Let's see, applesauce and liver. It's not bad at all. That applesauce is so strong though, you barely taste the liver. But like I said, as a soldier, if I ate this all the time, I'd eat it like this just to be different. It doesn't taste bad at all. It, it makes it more complex with flavor. I'm a weirdo like this. Ooh. All right, 
liver pate with applesauce going down, guys. Check that out. Mmm. It's good. You know why? Because that pate isn't, it's actually not a good pate. I'll be honest with you. It tastes too dense and dry, you know? It's flavorful, but the texture isn't good. So what happens is this applesauce helps with the texture, okay? It makes it lighter. I, I never liked applesauce, so I, I, can't, I can't judge this too much. Never in my life did I like applesauce. Even from a baby. Something about applesauce is just, yeah. I like, I'd rather eat an apple. Okay. So guys, this, these vegetables here, like I said, they're good, but they're not good by themselves. I should have opened it and I ate it with the meals. So I'm not going to harp on these too much. I'm not going to eat on these, but I still have the chocolate guys and I have the coffee. I'm not going to do the coffee. I'm trying to quit coffee again. I quit it for a month and I felt great. No aggression. And then I needed it, okay, for work because I was waking up at 5 a.m. So I needed, and it was cold. So I wanted coffee in the morning to warm me up and give me some energy. So I started drinking again and I definitely noticed that I'm a little more edgy. So I'm trying to avoid coffee again. Okay, so guys, check this chocolate out. I've had it many times before. It just tastes like a cheap, dark chocolate, all right? Now, one thing, I'm pretty sure this doesn't say how much cocoa, like the percentage is in here, because the percentage is probably low. And you know what? After eating all this food, it doesn't taste that bad. But I'm not a fan of dark chocolate. If this was milk and rich chocolate. Now, is there a reason why they give dark chocolate, guys? If you know in the comments, let me know down below because, or is dark chocolate more popular amongst the population in Russia? I feel like dark chocolate is more for like wine, okay? But it's not as delicious in my personal opinion. Dark chocolate is like this grown up taste where you just like have one piece and let it melt, you know, enjoy that one square. So I get it. Um, for me personally, if I'm eating chocolate, especially if I'm in a trench or stuff, I don't care about healthy. I just want it to taste good and remind me of comfort food. So I would like it to be rich milk chocolate. But anyway, I just ate the whole chocolate. So it is what it is. Obviously, you can't be picky when you're hungry. And let me finish this drink, wash it all down. This is the gum to clean, cleanse your palate when you're done. Guys, take a look at this gum. It looks normal, but I've had it before and that's the one thing that I remember. Guys, I'm sorry, I have to be honest. This gum sucks. This is the worst gum that I've ever had in MREs. This tastes like some kind of Soviet Union cheap, cheap factory gum. The flavor is very light mint, very, very light. But the experience is not good. It doesn't have like a candy crunchy shell on the outside. Like the higher quality gums, if you bite into them, the outside will give it a little crunch and the inside is soft. This is just all soft. It tastes cheap. So they definitely could do better with the gum. I'm sure it works as far as it's, you know, cleanses your palate. But it would be nice if the soldiers got, got something more higher quality okay and now eating all this food obviously you could see i enjoyed it that's why i devoured everything so it's good but is it the best mri i ever had no so far in my opinion guys 
the most memorable MRE that I've had is the one from Belarus, guys. That one blew my mind away. All It looked like all the items are actual items that you could buy in the store. And the Hungarian one is very good too, guys. So if you haven't seen those reviews, check down below. I'll leave a link, you know, because I reviewed those. Those are, those are two very memorable. The biggest reason why is when you actually open the can and have all the meats and like the stews, it smells like something somebody made in the kitchen or at home. It doesn't smell industrial, like processed food that's made in a factory, okay? So, and very tasty, very delicious. I love their food. The Belarusian guys, their food is phenomenal. So if Russians are doing drills or anything alongside Belarusian military for any reason, I don't know you know, the, the stuff behind that. But if it happens and you guys get a chance to trade, obviously the Belarusians would want something different perhaps. And the Russian guys, if you could get the Belarus one, wow, you love it. All right. So I recommend that guys, please let, leave all the comments down below. Let me know what you think about my review. And also if you think I should translate everything beforehand or is my formula good enough or, you know, is it, you know, awesome. Do you like it? Uh, let me know if I should try any other MREs, not only other MREs, any other foods. Guys, if you could get me a Russian bayonet, I'll buy it off you. Let me know. So yeah, thank you guys signing off. Please like, share, and subscribe till next time. Cheers.